Um, hey you guys, it's me Thomas. Basically in this video I'm talking about my college experience. It's not going to be long. It's going to be short and simple and to the point. So, I hope y'all guys enjoy the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and tell me more stuff that you want to see from me. Because this is going to be my first, first video. And I want to do a lot more different stuff on my channel. So, Because I didn't go to school right after I graduated so I took a break and then I went in the springtime so basically I'm going to talk about the things I experienced what I like in the school I'm going to talk about leading up to going to school like I graduated I didn't go to school right after I graduated I took some time like I took a break I was like, I'm tired of doing work. I don't want to do work at the moment. And then, like, during the summer, I was like, yeah, I, I think I want to go to school. I can't be home all the time just going to work, come home, stuff like that. I just can't do that anymore. So I was like, I'm going to start applying to schools, and I'll start looking up schools, and, you know, you know, trying to find out what school was best for me. And then I came across Shawan. I was like, mm, this might be a school for me. And I called my, I was like, mom, this might be a school for me, like, I don't know, it just came out of nowhere where I was like, this might be a school for me. And I like really enjoyed it. And then I was like, praying that I got accepted. And I got accepted. I was like, yeah, your boy made it. I'm about to go to school. And, you know, I, I did like, you know, touring the school and stuff like that. I liked it. But all that I hated was just small. And everybody knew everybody. And stuff. So my university is a PWI. Um, it's a very small school where everybody knows everybody. It's in a small, tight, niche community called Murfreesboro. Yeah, Murfreesboro, the country. Um, I can say that I enjoy my first time being in college, being away from home, because that was like the first, 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 very first time that I've been away from home. It was like, mm, okay, I gotta get used to this. But then like, when I got used to it, it was like, I can do this. I like living on my own, you know, making my own decisions. And, um, I mean, like, I can say from my experience is better than my other friends who go to, like, UNC Charlotte and ECU and stuff like that. Because one of my friends who go to um, UNC Charlotte, she said it's not what she thought it would be. Like, I thought me being at a small school would be, like, boring, be like, like, why, like, why? But it's not, it was pretty much, I mean, it's like, it's what you make it to be like if you go to a small school because your teacher, they live in the community. You see them, they always on campus. Like, I can always, like, my teacher knew my name. Not if I'm at UNC Charlotte, I'm in a big classroom and my teacher don't even know my name. I'm just another student, another person in their class. I'm just another number in their class. And then, like, my classroom, our classroom size is like, a class or a high school classroom like that's how small the classroom was like it was on nothing no no more than 30 to 40 students in the class and half the time it's not that many people in the class about 20 people because they dropped the people because just kids would drop the course because they don't want to take the course anymore so that's why you have 20 people in the class or less i can say that your teachers want to have a relationship with you because they always up like come by my business if you have any questions email me they want to you know have, you know, you more involved. Then I can also say is that the school is small, so you should want to want to get involved in stuff and activities. I didn't get involved because I was coming in the middle semester. There would be no point of me joining anything. Even though I still went to some of the SGA meetings and I did, I went to like at like an alpha and open mic nights. Like I still was like, I did stuff around the school, like, you know, to be, see what was really, you know, going on around the school. Um, the biggest thing was like, I was nervous about just having a roommate, like, a roommate, I'm like, uh, I don't really don't know, but I really enjoy having my roommate, like, that's my boy, he real cool, like, he real, we both chill, so it was like, it was just perfect, whatever, so, that's one thing, make sure you're your roommate, you always look up for your roommate, cause that's what we did, we looked out for each other, no matter what, um, the food, it was okay, but but one thing I can tell you, on Tuesday, fried chicken Tuesday with mac and cheese, oh, 
the best, the best, the best. That was the best. It, it, it would be packed on Tuesday. So you had to get there early because the calf was small. So you had to get there so you get a good seat. So you took with your friends. I turned down some chicken. That, you know it's good. My mouth watering. That's how you know the chicken was good. But um, I, could, I do recommend Chowan for anybody. If you have a low GPA because they give you a second chance to get your GPA up if you want to transfer because most of the time freshmen they leave right after their freshman year if they don't plan on staying. So I do recommend Chowan University. It's very it's a very good small school. You're in the country so you able to focus on schoolwork. You're not focused on going to parties if you live in a city. So you right there so and you have a lot of resources to wrap up my video of me talking about my college experience, what I've grown to love and enjoy about my school. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for what happens next on this channel. So I'll see y'all guys later.